digestive system part 6 in this lecture we will talk about the small intestine small intestine have less luminal diameter as compared to large intestine so the name is the small intestine but small intestine is larger in length than the large intestine it has the three parts number 1 duodenum number 2 jejunum number 3 ileum The main function of the small intestine is the absorption of the digestive material. In the duodenum there is the major absorption of the calcium and the iron. The next point to the duodenum is the jejunum. The most of the absorption takes place in the jejunum. The flexure between the duodenum and the jejunum is called duodeno-jejunal flexure. That is the demarcation line between the upper GI and the lower GI tract. This duodeno-jejunal flexure is held by the ligament of Treitz that is the suspensory ligament. In the jejunum most absorption of the amino acids glucose and the fatty acids take place. Next to the jejunum is the ileum that is the last part of the small intestine. Ileum gets absorbed the nutrients that are not absorbed by the jejunum. The most important nutrients that absorb with ileum are the vitamin B12 and the bile acid that can be reused. That's all about the small intestine. In the next lecture we will talk about the large intestine. Thank you for watching this video. If, if you like this video please share with your friends and please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.